Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special short of Anime on Draft. I mm. am your host today, Rolando, joined by my co-host, Alec. Hello. If the mmm didn't give it away, I don't know what would. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this week, or not week, I guess today, we're going to... This episode. This episode. <laughs> we're going to talk about Just Because... And in particular, we're going to talk about <clears throat> Natsume and her character. So, um, red haired bitch. Yes. <laughs> that, her, that girl, <laughs> that, uh, that girl, the so aforementioned main heroine, I guess you could say. Mm. Yeah. So Alec, I want to get your mm-hmm. opinions on Natsume because she's kind of a, uh, like an odd character. <clears throat> would, you, would you not say? Yeah, she's a little strange. Um, she's like, she's like Sakurai from MMO Junkie, where she just keeps cucking herself just for no reason, and then making up excuses about it. And it's like, why are you doing this? But no, she's an odd character. Um, but I mean, you know, she's kind of making for an interesting story. At the same time, as she's being really fucking weird. <laughs> um, but. Like, like (laughs) there's a a handful of things like I know you enjoyed the scene where she uh, had the flashback with the eraser. And I think that epitomizes just her weirdness. The the (laughs) hey, you handed me an eraser and she marry me. Yeah, she (laughs) kept on. She held on to that eraser forever. It's just like, yeah, they've been in school for like six years or something. Right. Yeah. It's just like, what are you doing? It's just so weird and also kind of just creepy. <laughs> I don't think she's used it either. I think she just holds it. Yeah. Or is it used? I don't. She probably used it that day. Like when she yeah, got on it. Yeah, the test. Yeah. And like, she was oh, just like, oh, I'm going to smell it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's, like it's the guy rubber from fumes. Charlie's Angels. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She loves it. She's like, <sighs> let me. I can I have some of your hair, Soma. Mm. Oh, <laughs> no, she's just kind of weird um, in that. And then the way she, like, who did like the her her I don't know her the who she likes is just weird too. Because I don't I don't even think she knows who she likes, and uh, and it's like super random because they're making it seem like she's liked Soma the entire time. But except when they first introduced that whole thing, like I thought she liked, what's his name? Ata Iz- from Izumi, the start yeah. of the show. Izumi, I, yeah, I don't get her either because <clears throat> the way they've been portraying her, she definitely has like this chemistry and like some sort of baggage with Ata, but which we don't know what it is. Yeah. But when it comes to, um, to Haruto, mm-hmm. that's his name, right? Soma Haruto. Yeah, so uh, yeah. Um I think <laughs> the when it comes to when it comes to him like mm-hmm. she seems to have like that crush with the eraser but mm-hmm. she like doesn't really interact with him like in so much as just being a like you know random girl classmate. Yeah. So I but- <laughs> she like talks to like when because there was the other flashback where Ata found out that she liked him or whatever. Because uh, she was staring at him like a creeper holding her eraser. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> since then, she had been talking to him and hanging out with him like all the time. So it's like, mm-hmm. what? I don't get who you actually like because she got offended when he didn't compliment her, you know? And mm-hmm. then when he didn't instantly recognize her, that kind of shit. But recognized her sister. Yeah. And then it's the same because I thought she liked him kind of in that scene. She was like looking at Soma and it didn't really look like she liked him so much as she was just staring at him for some reason. Like, yeah. And then he showed up and it seemed like she was taken taken back that he saw her looking at him. And it almost they made the scene come across like she thought he was going to get the wrong idea. Obviously, they're trying to make it seem like she likes him. But I don't know. She's obviously more comfortable around him then and now. Because she's always like, oh, can you hang out? You want to hang out? Yeah. And like, it just, I, it seems like she just likes, um, uh, what's it, Haruto? 
Eight. No. Well, uh, oh, she Soma. likes him as like, yeah, as like an infatuation. <clears throat> yeah. Just like, oh, he was nice to me one day and took the fall for me in class. So I didn't get in trouble. But neither did he because the teacher was like, all right, don't talk. And then they went back to their test. Like it wasn't a big deal at all. But she's making like this huge three year hold the eraser, smell it at home deal out of it. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah. She I think the way the show portrays it kind of <clears throat> hints at what they're what she actually feels because when so it's like obviously Haruto likes um what's her name? The band girl. Mm-hmm. And Trumpet there's girl. the whole like situation where he's like gonna confess to her and then like she gets dragged along into all the stuff. And excuse me. She doesn't seem so much distraught as in like disappointed and like mm-hmm. it like it doesn't seem like it really bothers her too much but when she has that argument with Ata, when he kind of like kind of like lash out at each other about like mm-hmm. sticking your nose on the stairs each biz- like the business on on mm-hmm. new year's on new year's yeah it bothered her a lot mm-hmm. especially because like she saw like the way he looked, he looked like he was like really like sad and disappointed when mm-hmm. he, as he walked away. as he walked away, like mm-hmm. that really like hit her. And so, I think she, you know, especially with this eraser thing, she gave it back to Haruto or whatever to as kind of like a closing of her infatuation, like you were saying. That mm-hmm. kind of I feel <clears throat> closes the door on that kind of puppy love, you could say. And Mm -hmm. opens her to kind of realizing that she liked Ata the whole time. Is what I'm going to assume. I was kind of thinking that too. Because like it seems like they kind of hint that that's the case. Because she does the whole give the eraser and she's like, I feel relieved. Like she can move on into something else. And then at the end of episode six, they have that scene where... um, uh, is it Ata? Yeah, Ata helps photography girl. What's her name? Komia. Komia. He like helps her and they're like driving on her moped. And then some poor animation occurs and it's like oh, they're yeah. like randomly just jerking around like nah, and it's it's weird. But um and then they cut to her and she's like, What? Why? Like, and she seems like super like she went from being relieved to it looked like she was like on the verge of like devastated, not like crying, but like the shock was like, <clears throat> she's going to be like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, sort of thing. And, yeah. uh, compounded and with earlier in that it was that episode earlier, right? Where she wanted to apologize to Ata, but oh, he was, yeah. uh, hanging out with Komia. Uh huh. And yeah. so and then she didn't, she didn't approach him, even though they both mm-hmm. saw her just kind of with her back <laughs> not kinda, facing them <laughs> just kind of dip <laughs> um yeah no so it's it's just it's confusing i think that the that's kind of the route they're trying to take it to like like steer her towards him but at the same time that she's steering towards him he's kind of given up on it and it seems like he's kind of starting to go for the photography girl just cuz she's dynamic and fun, she, you know, she seems like she'd be a fun person to hang out with and, like, can get along with and that sort of thing. And it seems like as much as he hated her in the start. Sorry, yeah. I keep burping. He's, like, starting to go, you know, uh, towards that. But And then now she's just too late to the party because she was too busy smelling erasers. Like, don't sniff glue, kids. It's bad for you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I kind of like Komia's character a lot more than Natsume's mm-hmm. character just because Natsume is kind of unsure about mm-hmm. her own feelings and it is just kind mm-hmm. of wishy-washy. And it's kind of annoying. Right. But it I can understand why she is like that. It's probably mm-hmm. so that they can introduce all of the drama. Right. I mean, it does make for good like drama and it also makes for like um <clears throat> I don't know, like good resolution, I guess, you know, Um, because you get all this pent up bullshit and then it resolves and you're like, sweet. And it feels good. Or she just feels like shit at the end and she gets dicked on by the whole show, which, you know, (laughs) I would be fine with an ending like that because it 
it happens so rarely. <laughs> well, one person is most likely going to get devastated in this show just because knowing that the like the writer is the guy that wrote soccer so um Uh uh-huh and there were definitely people that were devastated in that show just for like what how shit happened but oh so he's known for this well good i mean i can't complain i think i would like that actually (laughs) as fucked up as that kind of sounds but you should watch soccer so um Probably after and this. And blend us. Yeah, I'll finish this and then pick it up in between, probably in between seasons. Yeah, because but, yeah. it's it's good. It doesn't cover mm-hmm. the whole light novels because when the anime aired, it was still running. But you get the gist right. of it. Right. Mm. I mean, I'm down. I like this show, so if it's the same guy, I'll definitely check it out, but... Yeah, Natsume, kind of annoying, but makes for good drama. And she does push the story along, yeah. I think, quite well. So I don't hate her, no. but she, no. to me right now, is way more boring than Komiya. Komiya is more exciting. Um, but I think we get more from the story a little bit from Natsume right now than Komiya. But actually, I don't know, because Komiya is starting to... But that's for another day. Let's not get into that. We'll yeah. be here all night. I, it's probably going <laughs> to, like, what my assumption is, is they're going to push Komiya right now and kind of tout her as, like, the, you know, second love interest. And then yeah, it'll mm-hmm. kind of be, like, she'll have her character arc and then it'll kind of move to Natsume and, you know, what's going to happen between her and Ata, and mm-hmm. whether he ends up going with his unrequited love from middle school or whatever this developing, blossoming possible love in high school is the real question. Mm -hmm. That is the real question. And I'm excited to see what happens. Yep. (laughs) All right. Well, um, other than that, is there anything else you wanted to add on just because? Sometimes the animation sucks. (laughs) <laughs> sometimes it's really bad. Like yeah. uh, some of the motion animation is sometimes just God awful. If I notice it, then it's bad <laughs> because if, if anyone listened to our actual podcast, the normal episodes and drew and Rolando are talking about how shit the anime was in an episode. Uh, I can't remember which show it was. Oh, so- uh, gamers was soccer quest. Oh, and soccer uh, gamers quest. too. Well, I mean, yeah. This this anime is being <clears throat> produced by the same studio that did Gamers. Oh, okay. So if I'm noticing it, though, it's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's some rough, rough spots. But besides that, I got nothing else for another episode. Right. I, I have more. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we'll do another one of these um, for further episodes since Drew has not watched it at all. Nope. <laughs> nope. Well, um, other than that, I think uh, it's safe to say we're done. So bye-bye, yep. everybody. See you later. Till next time. <laughs>